Welcome to another Lion's Table. What is our work if Christ did it all for us on the cross? Our work is to have faith and to believe. John chapter 6, verse 28 through 29 says, Then they inquired, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus said, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Amen. You know, folks, that really is the hardest work of all. Faith is important, but it takes more effort for a person to believe in Jesus and what he did for us than it does to believe in some politician on a podium. What about faith and works? Some people still get caught up in works. In James 2, verses 14 through 24, we read about faith and works. Uh, what good is it, my brothers, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you tells him, go in peace, stay warm and well fed, but does not provide for his physical needs, what good is that? So too, faith by itself, if it does not result in action, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that God is one. Good for you. Even the demons believe that and shudder. Oh, foolish man, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is worthless? Was not our father Abraham justified by what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith was working with, with his actions, and his faith was perfected by what he did. And the scripture is filled that, fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. And he was called a friend of God. As you can see, a man is justified by his deeds and not by faith alone. Let us consider that again as the key in understanding faith and works that we just read in the book of James. Once again, was not our father Abraham justified by what he did? Well, what did he do? He understood that God is a living God. He understood this when he offered his son Isaac at the altar. You see, that his faith, understanding of God, who he is as a living God, and the work is believing in God with his actions, and his faith was perfected by what he did. He believed. Believing was the deed Abraham performed for God. Faith is important. It's that understanding God is a living God, and it's believing it. Now, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called a friend of God. As you can see, a man is justified by his deeds, which is believing, and not by faith, recognizing and understanding that God is a living God alone. Right, not by faith alone, but the two of them working together, faith and believing. Because God is a living God, he is spirit and life. We, having accepted that truth, are alive in spirit and have abundant life. And why wouldn't we want that for everybody? Why would we pass up somebody on the street Amen. and not give them what they need to have faith and believe? This is power and it is life. Abraham understood this. Abraham had faith, but he believed that God would make good on his promises because he is a living God. Now you may be asking... Yeah, uh, isn't, aren't, isn't faith and believing the same? Well, faith is acknowledging as in giving credence and recognition, while believing is following that up with trusting and responding to faith with the greatest confidence. Amen. We have to have faith and believe in God's promises. And the first one is that he is a living God and he loves us. This is our good work, believing in that truth. Because all other work God did and has done and will do. We just need to speak out loud God's word. Speaking life and speaking truth. Now reading from God's Creative Power uh, book for healing, you can declare this. Uh, this is from Mark chapter 11 verse 23 and Luke chapter, uh, seven, chapter 17 verse 6. I am redeemed from the curse. That's from Galatians 3.13. I'm sorry, Galatians 3.13 is flowing in my bloodstream. It flows to every cell of my body, restoring life and health. Amen. Jesus bore my sin, sins on the cross. 
in his body. Therefore, I am dead to sin and alive unto God. And by his stripes, I am healed. I'm made whole. And we can take that message from 1 Peter 2, 24, Romans 6, 11, and Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Or I will not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118, 17. That's one I like. God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Beloved, I pray that in every way you prosper and enjoy good health as your soul also prospers. 3 John 1, 2. Psalms 85, 12 says this. The Lord will indeed provide what is good and our land will yield its increase. Believe it. Amen, folks. So don't be afraid. Believe in God's promises. Read his word daily because it is spiritual food for us. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this Lion's Table. We hope this has been a blessing to you. We hope we've blessed you with this message. And we always invite you to join us again next time.